Man. G'day guys, welcome to another episode. Wine about it with Mike. My guess is that you already know what this episode's about. That's right, how to make wine sexy. And what could be sexier than a man naked in his bathtub, plug going up his ass, faucet protruding into his neck, practically swimming in his own filth. We better get this one started, and as with any sexiness, we're gonna start with some bubbles. First things first, let's get some strawberries in there. One, two, three, four. And what you wanna do, instead of cutting, cutting this next one in half, I'm gonna kind of cut a slit in the shape of a sort of a semicircle, and that'll fit nicely on the side of your glass there for you to enjoy. Another quite sexy sort of uh, noise or thing, sound of that pop as the cork goes. And, and I can't wait to lock lips with this bottle of Swire and Noble non vintage silver collection Cuvée Brut. It's tight. <laughs> Fuck. Cheers. Just fill just below the brim, and that's ready to go. And that's not only sexy, but it's delicious. Mm. To enhance the sexiness of your afternoon, you can also pour the wine onto yourself. This is usually best enjoyed with someone else, but today I'm doing sexy, so I'm like... Give us a kiss. <laughs> And I'll give that six out of 10 sexies. Now, if the sparkling wine was an entree, we're about to have the main course. A 2011 Shark Tooth by Serafino. I know I normally um, will finish an entire bottle of wine when doing one of these reviews and sometimes you get a bottle that's pretty special. I probably want to keep up the theme of sexiness and enjoy some of this with Jess after I finish filming today. Ah, that is beautiful. Quite a heavy wine. And this is probably a wine that I should have decanted before drinking, but I didn't think of that and don't really want to get out of the bath at this point as so I'm starting to get quite relaxed and very sexy. Ah, doesn't matter so much in the bath. Which is good. Save, save a few shirts. Dark red in the glass. Oh, it's very dark. A little bit spicy. Chocolate and cherry. Gives me this sort of cherry ripe idea. And what could be sexier than drinking this wine and having a bit of Ferrero Rocher? That's a beautiful wine. That's a nine out of 10 for me. So remember, when trying to seduce your partner or yourself, chocolate, always a winner. Expensive wine, usually a winner. But you need to have a dessert wine as well. Saving this one for later. Thirdly, get sexy with some dessert. I've, I've managed to get my hands on some fudgy smuggler, chocolate fudge and raspberry ice cream made by Jam Face by Poe. Yesterday, Jess and I went to a winery called Horndale in South Australia, and they do a uh, bulk tawny. I've already poured myself some. It's very good on your dessert as well. Cheers, stay sexy. Ooh, kind of floral. That's good, cheers. Delicious. If you found that by this point you are not sexy enough, it's okay to use the same strawberries. Just get into it. And that fortified from before, six out of 10. Until next time, you stay sexy guys, okay? <laughs> See you next week.